Jesus was living in Cape Town today, what would he be doing with his life? Would he be pursuing wealth, comfort and ease, and generally trying to avoid people in pain? I don't think so. In fact, I think Jesus would probably include people in pain in his inner circle. In the God Actually series, we're finding out what God's actually like. And what we're learning today is that God is compassionate. He cares about people, especially those in pain. He seems to gravitate towards those on the fringes of society, those who are experiencing poverty and those that are experiencing injustice. And we're called to do the same. Let's find out now how some common grounders have been responding to this God of compassion. The people that work here look up to me and say so it gives me a space to speak into them with their lives about Jesus and speak into their lives about who God created them to be. The, the biggest prayer that I've seen put on my heart is uh, helping people come to a place where they realize that they are worth something. And I think one of the biggest disasters uh, with people from middle to low income brackets is that they have low self-esteem. They feel that there is no hope. We teach compassion. We teach about being generous with your encouragement, being generous with your time, and being generous with your resources. So one of the things we do is we get a whole lot of people from our network to be able to earn an income to give people a slot and a chance to do something with their lives. I'm from Zimbabwe, I live with my brothers in, in Cape Town, so that means, and I'm single, so that means I have a lot of time on my hands. I volunteer at a children's home in Athlin. I read bedtime stories to the kids in the evenings, being there for them and giving them love and attention, spending time with them, it's, it gives them so much joy, it puts a smile on their faces. Last year, Common Ground had a series called Hope, and that really moved me. So I showed at the school that video and initiated a project called a book drive and a stationary drive. We also took 10% of our library budget and we purchased new books. And once a week, the children bring sandwiches and we are blessing the school in Otri. Life is very busy with three young children under the age of three and a half. As a family, we're wanting to respond to, to the needs of those around us. Along with our small group, we go to the warehouse. I think it's been wonderful to expose our kids to what people are giving and what can be given. In the morning, when we make lunch for Daddy, let's make you another one, Joel. We also make lunch for William. William sits at the robots, and we've got to know him, and we make him a sandwich every day. I think you can eat some. How about you? How are you responding to those in poverty or experiencing injustice? I think you've got to start by asking God. How can you redirect the way you spend your time, your skills, your resources, your influence, your income? I know God wants us to respond in some way. We at Common Good want to help us become a people that are full of compassion, both who we are and what we do. And God's Spirit's going to come alongside us to help us tremendously. So if you want to know more, why not come to the involvement desk and ask some questions? <laughs>